Uh, Jan, you are still muted. Sorry, thank you. Now we're going to discuss the platform concept. Uh, so we've talked about accelerators, we've talked about devices, and we've uh, talked about queues. Now, uh, this is more of a meta question. How is the portability between backends achieved? So a uh, platform is some sort of meta concept in Alpaca. On the right, I have drawn the holy trinity of Alpaca. And a platform basically is a union of accelerator device and kernel functionality, meaning that platform is not a distinct type of itself, but more of an overarching concept. The accelerator gives structure to the host side and functionality to the device side. Uh, the device concept gives functionality to the host side, and kernels are completely agnostic of device details. This leads to portable kernels. All, uh, all of them together form an alpaca platform. So changing the target platform, we've already covered this a bit in uh, the accelerator part, uh, just requires you to change the accelerator. So for example, if you switch from CPU OMP to blocks to uh, GPU HIP, uh, you won't need to do any changes afterwards, except for the work division. So all dependent types and variables are automatically changed, meaning that, uh, for example, the device query function here will now return a GPU after you've changed to a GPU accelerator. And the queue will also choose the uh, right device and so on. So what Alpaca basically does for you uh, during configuration with CMake, by default, it will enable all suitable backends for your system that you're compiling on, but you configure this behavior with CMake variables. CMake will then proceed to handle all backend dependencies, so you don't have to link them yourselves. And after you've changed the accelerator, the backend uh, use will be switched automatically and all queue operations, uh, operations will be executed on the associated devices. There are some things that you have to do for Alpaca to enable portability. On the device side, it's a good idea to make no assumptions about your hardware. You should program your kernels as abstract and portably as possible, and you should use the passed-in accelerator for device-side operations. At compile time, the kernels are instantiated for a specific platform. This is what the accelerator template parameter is for that we have seen in the kernel. So uh, this will provide in an abstract way all device functionality to you, but at compile time, this will boil down to uh, something back as specific. On the host side, you need to know your hardware. You should use the Alpaca device concept for the, your management of physical devices, and you should adapt the work division, meaning blocks per grid, threads per block, and elements per thread, to your hardware and problem size. Uh, 